Hey guys, welcome back to a new video here on YouTube about NBA 2K26 on PC. Well, I'm getting many messages from you guys, so I think this video is going to be very useful for you because I'm going to show you how you can install mods on NBA 2K26 and how you can export files from 2K26 for making new mods. So the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, to open the main installation folder of NBA 2K26. So where is this folder? Well, you have to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common and NBA 2K26. So it's enough uh, if you uh, create a new folder and you rename this folder with the name of mods. So here is the mods folder. Well, um, if you... Um, come from previous uh, 2Ks, I mean all gen, uh, for example, 2K20, 2K21, 22, 23, and 24, um, it was very easy because basically you had to copy here the IFF files. But um, with this new version of 2K26 is in the same way uh, than 2K25. I mean, um, you have to create different subfolders uh, for every single specific uh, file uh, because 2K uh, is using different locations for the for the files. For example, uh, there is a single subfolder for side faces, a different one for uniforms, a different one for portraits, for basketballs, um, headshots, and more for shoes. So how do you know the name of these uh, subfolders? It's very easy. Uh, you have to open the manifest file. So you have to go to the main selection folder and here is the manifest file. You have to open this uh, file with notepad++ and here you can see all the files in game. So for example, I'm going to search um, an IFF file for a side face. You know, uh, these files are PNG, uh, for example, 1013 is the side face um, ID for LeBron James. So here is uh, the PNG file. So as you can see here, you have a subfolder uh, with the name of char and a new folder inside char with the name of sig. So it means you have to create char and inside this folder, you have to create a new one with this name, Sig. Uh, so I'm going to open our uh, mods folder and here you have to create this folder. And inside of this folder, you have to create this Sig one, okay? So here, if you open this folder, here you can copy all the modded side faces that you can find on my side and on the internet okay so uh this is the location for side faces but uh it depends on the on the file so for example for i don't know for logos for example logo uh 558 iff file so here uh this is a logo for blazers i think anyway this is a logo for classic team uh here you have the location for logos so if you want to add uh, custom logos, you have to create the logos folder. So you have to go to mods here, new folder and logos. Okay. You rename this folder is logos and inside of this folder, you can copy any uh, modded uh, logo that you can get on the internet. Or for example, if you create a new logo, you can put here the logo files. So now, uh, for example, for, I don't know, uh, for uniforms, for jerseys, you uh, zero 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 view uh, current home. This is the name of the Sixers home current home jersey. So here is this is the jersey, okay, for Sixers. And here you have the location for uh, uniforms. So in this case, as you can see here, we have char. Remember, it's the same folder for uh, side faces, but. The second subfolder here is uniforms. So you have to create uniforms folder. 
And here, inside of this one, uh, you have to create a new folder, as you can see here, with the name of the of the jersey, okay? It's the same name of the jersey, so you have to create here. U000, current home. And here, you can put um, the Sixer uh, jersey, so it's gonna be different for every single jersey, but if you search here the name of the jersey, you can uh, find the location, okay? Pretty simple. So, for example, for basketballs, um, the name this year is, here I have, okay, ball gameplay, official NBA, NBA official. So I'm going to copy here the name of the, of the ball. Here is. So if you get a ball from the internet, uh, this is the location balls. So you have to go to mods folder game. And here, if you create the balls folder, here inside of this balls folder, you can copy uh, any modded uh, ball, okay? Any modded basketball. Uh, the same location for this one, and the same for Spalding, for classic uh, teams. So the location is basically the same one. So now, for example, for portraits, uh, see, H R G, okay. This is the name for all the portraits in game. So if you get or you create any portrait file, this is the locations for portraits and headshots for both. Okay. So players image. So you have to go to mods, new folder, player image. Okay. So now here you can copy any modded portrait. As you can see, well, it's not as easy as uh, previous years, but with this tutorial, I think it's pretty clear about the process on how to create the folders, the subfolders, and how you can put the files, okay? So this is the first step. It's about how to install mods. So the second one is about how to export files from 2K26. So if you export files, you can edit these files and you can create new mods. Okay, so um, the credits about these tutorials, uh, about this tutorial, go to uh, Red Light. Red Light um, shared this uh, tutorial last year and the process is the same. So all credits go to him and let me show you how it works. So I'm going to close here and I'm going to show you how you can export files. So. You have to open the CMD, okay, the CMD as administrator. Yes, here on the left. And another one, CMD without administrator. So CMD and open it, okay? So here on the right without administrator and here on the left uh, running as administrator. So here in the window without administrator, you have to drag and drop the mod file from 2K. So you have to go to the main installation folder of ME 2K26 and here you have the mod uh, file. So basically you have to drag and drop the file into this window and you have to press on enter. Okay, so well, now on the left window running uh, as administrator, you have to write cd space slash uh, d space, and now you have to copy the address of mba2k26. So in the main installation folder, you have to click on the right button of your mouse on 2k26, and you have to press here on copy the address as text. So copy and paste. And now press on enter. Okay, now you have to write this mod.exe space, and now um, you have to uh, copy the name of the, of the location of the file that you want to get. In this case, remember, I'm going to extract the file for uh, the LeBron James side face, the PNG uh, 1013.iff. So, if you remember the location, 
it was uh, char c and png anyway i'm going to open again the manifest file with notepad plus plus and here and search search png 1013.iff press and enter and remember this is the location char seek uh, okay so here remember mod that exe space char slash seek slash and the name of the file png 1013.iff and now press on enter as you can see loading and saving okay um now you have a mods folder anyway you already have the mods folder if you are following my tutorial so well you have to go to the main selection folder uh, mods here and char see and um, here is the png of lebron james you can open the file okay it's working fine uh, as you can see it's very simple if you want to extract files and now I'm going to extract a logo as another example. So in this case, you have to write again mod dot exe space. Remember the location of the logos, uh, logos slash logo. In this case, I'm going to get this one. Press on enter, loading, saving. Okay, so now you have to go to mods, logos, and here is, okay, this is the, the logo. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. So I hope it works for you guys. Um, that's all for me. Uh, thanks for watching my videos as always, and for, for your support uh, for sure. And see you in the next video. Bye.